Hey guys, and welcome back to This is the Police. We're at day seven, and we have three headlines. Racist gangs from Wild End City. Second tower to be built in Freeburg. An investigation into Francis Kedrick could resume. The poor guy is dead. What more investigations do you need, but... You can't let things lie in this city. The people of Freeburg have built up a tolerance for the petty horrors of modern life. You'll never see crowds gathering around a beaten passerby. Folks rarely even slow to gawk at a car accident. And street theft doesn't turn heads anymore. Been a long time since people got worked up about stuff like that. So when I ran into a troubled crowd on the way to work, I knew there was something serious going on. Something bad enough to knock these people out of their daily rhythm. And we're talking about people who would step over a corpse if it was blocking the door to the coffee shop. But apparently all it takes is a bunch of leaflets. Or spreading broken glass across Main Street. Or releasing a couple of hundred rats in the ice arena. The mysterious figure taking responsibility for these strange acts goes by the alias Robespierre. Nobody knows who he is, what he wants, or what all this adds up to, from the buckets of lard spread on the sidewalk to the front door of City Hall covered with ostrich feathers. But this strange cross between childhood pranks and cheap theatrics has got the people all worked up. Everyone understands when some Freeburg crook satisfies the basic human need to rob and kill. But when someone steals a lion from the local zoo and locks him in a cell below the courthouse, the people start asking questions. Myself, I kind of like this Robespierre. It's not just the pranks he's pulling or his green bull's head emblem. I just like his funny nickname. Robespierre? Really? Who does that make me? The Marquis de Lantanac? I don't think so. In the old books about revolutions, I fancy myself the old gunner who goes off to war with a bag of damp powder. Or maybe the innkeeper who tops up the beer kegs with mop water. Hmm. It's something to think about. So we're introduced to an interesting character, Robespierre. Um, I will give you a hint, there is definitely going to be more of this character. So since our deputy is dead, we gotta do Deputy Martin Stent. Stet? Not exactly sure. Smith. I accidentally broke my bathroom mirror when I was getting ready from work. My dad says it's seven years bad luck, but I know that's a suspicion. Probably last only seven hours. But it might be a good idea for me to take the day off. Ah, uh, no, Smith. Play the off in three minutes to the, all the museums in the city. Big fan of art. Can I have the day off? No, Daniel. Okay, so, good to go. We can't give out any ranks, so we'll just continue on. New York campaign as a gift or thank for your service. Boy, wait when you can refill your collection now. You can always find which sort, beer and save. Eh, whatever. We haven't even listened to all the songs yet, so. I think we're on to this one. Don't... Don't you leave me behind. Pierce Pickering, Burrow House, Jazz Band. The only thing is I don't like is the songs don't last the whole mission usually. So if you want to last the mission, the whole mission, you have to put a second one on. Mafia can offer you some very interesting service. You're practically a member of their family now, so it'll hardly cost you a thing. The Sands. So crime, mo well, satisfy false crime in progress support, all boss will be killed. Ooh. Mafia will satisfy a special investigation and detective who arrives at the scene will be killed. Members of the committee before hearing at the... Hmm. Could be useful, I'm not exactly sure. New Jersey is no Kendrick. But he's not as but he's not as useless as he might seem. He can handle some of your duties when you press the time. But lunch is on you. Along with other expenses. Okay. Send your staff for training. Hire a snitch. 
set in place to an informal outdoor barbecue. Why would I want to do that? I guess to raise their stats or have people. I fired five officers, two detectives. I've had one guy killed. Weaker salary is that. My money spent is zero. I've solved 16 crimes, failed to solve seven. And I've solved two cases. Oops, I want investigations. I'm not sure if adding... Oh, look at this. Well, I guess I could add Luca to it. I'm not sure if it does anything adding detectives to it now, but... We'll check. Okay. Like, I don't think that's it. I don't know. No clue. Okay, so we're just waiting for... Oh, that's the sunrise. Okay, theft. Big foot of legs, shoe shop. A sh shoe shop clerk reports that two team members found the most expensive sneakers on display, tied them on, and without paying my other shop wearing the new shoes. Um, not that important. So I'm gonna I'll send Donut and Daniels, or Donut and Nancy. I'll send Donut and Yancy. Oops. I thought affairs was oh yeah, police station. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Am I missing? Oh, because I had a fire cop. That is two. Please be informed that the employees have fired an informal complaint against you. We're gathering information for yourself for the circumstances of the case. Oh, because I fired a detective without reason. This man was an honor servant, so today he would be buried with military honors. Yeah, happens. <laughs> So what can I... Five more days. Man, not a lot of crimes right now. No man from work earlier in the news and found his young wife in bed with a lover. The maid called the police. Shot her husband taking a hot knife from the wall cabin. Um, yeah, we'll send Stuval and... Yeah, Daniels. Steve's spotted on smoking, not far from the store, buying their new shoes. Um. Yeah, see if we can catch him that way. Yeah. See, just catch him kind of unharmed and just, just grab him and apprehend him. So we still have Robins in case anything really bad happens before. These guys get back to the police station. Seem to be doing not bad, actually. Oop. Dave, municipal assignment. Tame for we're hosting the premiere of Back to the Future. The film's director would have asked City for an officer stand at the door. Should have visited big in their heavy hat. The handle comes into the theater. Sure. Smith, you can go handle that. Is Roth new? I don't remember hiring Roth. Perfect. Offender caught. Stuval's up to 500. Like, he is a gem, Stuval. Okay. A young father deprived his parent of ice tried to pick up his daughter from school. When he wasn't allowed access, he attacked the teacher, knocked her to the ground, and started kicking her. Oof. Donut. Yancey. Respond. We'll use Rob, because Stuval will be back really soon, so. Mr. Boyd, we're very sensitive with our mutual friend, Charles Delia, has said you could help me. As you may know, I own 
The Lark Moon Storm Freeberg. Reduced my ex-wife got half my records collection lawsuit. It's a lot of your records. My ex is very afraid of police and always tries to act like a law-abiding citizen. Some of you guys went over there in uniform and told her those records were evident and important. Vesse, she just smile and give him whatever you ask for. Not even check into a warrant. Sure. Um, Daniels, Roth. Yeah. I had to send three? Wow, shoot. Well, I need... Oh, Mafia Simon. Jack ran out of something going down in Trimplat at 2203. Wouldn't want any. Please make crash my party. I think 4,000 would be enough for such a request. Okay. An engineering plant at 2209. I have to remember not to respond to that. Okay. I'm just going to write that down. Because I don't really care if something's happening that oof. Car says some inches of scrawled patents a piece on the work artwork and hid in hidden the closet. Um well I'm just hoping Stuvel's not gonna get killed here. Cause I don't think he's gonna make it in time. Assault, offender caught. Perfect. Civilians unharmed, officer unharmed. Gee, we help Uthby and thanks to us to give us a General Crisper Elwell, the master. True, Dan used to first glad. It's usually sad, but the bar by the time shift ended. Ooh. So, Dan seems to have an alcohol problem. <laughs> Well, be really, Daniel seems to have the really bad alcohol problem. So, hopefully, you're not going to lose Stuval here. Like All Layson are on the police ride. The moon keep, he's only had the job a couple weeks and he's worried he's going to be fired with the food. So please calm down, push the bath stall, the artist locked himself in. Come up with your hands up. Holds the knife, insists that he's engaged in some sort of professional art, no one understands. He views Svenner and is threatening to stab himself. Okay, good. Because Stuval was alone, so I couldn't do anything stupid. You don't want to grab a knife from a felon anyway. That's real stupid, so. Okay. 2209. We're done for the day anyway. Like, I don't know how these frame thing work. Like, unless it's something like that. Like, I would thought it would have been that, but... The lead investigator's not there, so... Where's Smith? So this is the engineering plant from Gaza and Machine Factory. He's by two offenders still immune for the fact through a hole in the wall. We are not responding. So we might get shit for this, but I'm not getting sands on my bad side. Like we know what sands is, um, can do. I'm not getting on sands bad side. Stolen property. Okay. I doubt that's it. Like that, right? Ning He, Chinese England, has officially worked anywhere for the past 10 years. Oh, I can ask to respond to it. Oh, but the officer's off duty. So. We can't actually do it because the officer is off duty. Yeah. Nope. We have time. We have four days, I believe. Oh, 
Okay. Where was it that said that I have... Not sure. A fender escaped. Happens. Thanks for doing as we asked. Here's the amount we agreed on. 4,000. Jack, you must have seen newspaper news stories about Thomas Blake. The tired cop who went schizophrenic and shot a pregnant woman. Sure as child doesn't peep. We decided to come to psychological test for cops over 50 years of age. That includes you, Jack. Tomorrow morning, Dr. Eleanor Welderby is waiting for you in the office. Don't be late. Okay. It's going to be in the songs end before the missions end. But there you go. We will end the day. So, <laughs> Daniel is tired. Okay, so I think we have a good amount of people in shift B tomorrow. So, we should be okay. So, day 8, July 22nd, Monday. So you trust your tolls up nine hundred thousand or ninety thousand dollars for Mayor's birthday. Really? Six new restaurants appear in City by year's end. Mysterious Rose Pierre announces political ambitions. Oh really? That could be very good for us. We could keep our job. But I'm not not mounting on it. Mr. Boy, this is a very simple test. I'll show you a card with an absolute image. Look at them and tell you what you see. Okay, so we wanna try to pick things that are not obvious to what we're actually doing like this that's obvious um so just pick like normal things like a man going into his house things that look normal a woman decorating a christmas tree a blue alien raping a pig would not be a good answer A man giving a woman a Christmas ornament seems very normal. The woman dropping the Christmas ornament. Because pieces of Christmas ornament on the floor. A chest rook. Again, normal. <laughs> um. We're gonna s say an overturned truck because we don't want her to think we're violent. A key on a chain. I don't know how we see that, but like, just gotta be normal. I think they're trying to lead us into something. That we're violent or something. Shea Bloom re-elected as Freeburg's general attorney. Mayor and businessman ready to investigate the future of the city. No black employees at City Hall. Mayor says accident? But anyway, guys, I think we'll call this an episode here. It's actually quite a... Now that these episodes... Well, now that the missions go on till later in the day, the episodes are getting a little longer, so maybe we'll just have one a day. So anyway, guys, thanks for coming out for more of this to please. I'm back in the next episode for more. Thanks, guys. Later.